The latest leak from Edward Snowden has exposed Norway's role in America's global spying operations. The Nordic country has been sharing intelligence with the U.S. on Russia's political elite, as well as oil and gas companies and ordinary civilians. Helge Loras, director of the Center for International and Strategic Ana Analysis, joins us now live. Uh, so targeting politicians and energy companies, this clearly has nothing to do with the fight against terrorism. No, no, it does not. It's more, uh, I would say, a remnant of the Cold War. Uh, I don't think that uh, the fact that Norway is conducting widespread intelligence operations against Russia will come as a big surprise in Russia itself. Uh, and, and this is probably a, a kind of activity that goes in the opposite direction as well. Uh, and this is a multifaceted uh, kind of operations and also interests that go far beyond the, the, the war on terror and, and, and the fight against al-Qaeda. Uh, the report says America's collaboration with Norway resulted in, quote, several success stories. They didn't specify, but what do you think those success stories could be? I mean, that's, uh, that's impossible for me to say uh, what, what concretely that might be, but... Uh, but Norway and Russia shares uh, common borders. Uh, Norway has an extensive network of, of signals intelligence uh, up in the north, uh, which uh, collects uh, signals intelligence uh, about all kinds of, especially military uh, Russian activity, which was also done against the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Uh, but naturally, they also these capacities also pick up uh, signals that are uh, relevant or stemming from more political and economic sectors, uh, which could be of interest to either Norway or some of Norway's allies. And in this case, it's the revelations coming from the United States which makes the headlines. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you sound a little bit unfazed by this, sort of spying is spying, all countries do it. Uh, earlier this month, another Scandinavian country, Sweden, was caught spying on Russia for the NSA. How far does it go? Is this just the tip of the iceberg? When do you cross the line? Well, I mean, when it comes to the relationship between uh, a country like Norway and, and Russia, I think it has... Large, to a large extent, failed to take into account uh, what, what has actually expired since the Cold War. Uh, in a country like Norway, and I think for many of our other Scandinavian countries as well, uh, to keep Russia as more or less a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a useful enemy in order to justify continued military expenditures and the upkeep of the institutions that were established during the, during the Cold War. So in, in reality, many people in the elite in Norway still considers, justified or not, Russia to be a continued threat that needs continued uh, Norwegian countermeasures, both military and intelligence-wise. Um, but I'm unfazed also because, I mean, this is largely to be expected. Uh, this is not very much of a, of, 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 of a, of a big secret that Norwegian signals intelligence capacity has been used against Russia. And I think it's also quite clear that, uh, that Russia also uh, do have a significant interest in, in the defense cap capacities of Norway and also when it comes to some of the industrial and advanced technological aspects of, of Norway. So Norway and, and Russia are not complete allies uh, in, in this respect. There is still a, a large amount of distrust and I think mutual intelligence uh, operations going on against each other. All right, Helge Loras, Director of Center for International and Strategic Analysis, thanks so much for your time.